I'm Blair Gilbert, here from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, here to discover why this receptacle has failed. I've already repaired one on this building and it was because of speed wiring where someone took the wires and put them into the speed holes in the back of the receptacle instead of stripping the wire and wrapping it around the screw head. It's a spring-loaded clip that holds the wire so it can't come out. That spring loses its tension, the wire gets sloppy, and then it gives you bad electricity. For most of us, speed wiring is a bad way to go. It's typically why receptacles fail is because someone installed them the easy way instead of wrapping the wire and tightening it around the screw head. Yep, sure enough, look. So here it is. Look at that, that wire, black wire, was speed wired into that hole and it fell off. Classic example, why not to use speed wiring on a device? And there's also a classic example of too little wire in a box. There's supposed to be six inches of de-shielded wire in that box. The guy ahead of us only left us three and a half inches. So now we gotta jump through hoops to get this hooked up. Doing electrical wiring around the house, the trick of the day is don't use speed wiring. Unless you don't like the guy you're working for, eventually these can come loose. Use screws, tighten the screws twice, and you'll have a good job that will last years and years. Quick tip from MrHardware.com.